When that time comes, everyone will have free access to 5G internet service and all of their data will be stored in a digital cloud that is accessible online. People will get around in the future using taxis that can drive themselves and blockchain technology will be used to manage all of their financial transactions. According to statements made by government officials, the rise of Xiangan's economy will be driven by 80% of industries operating at the forefront of technological advancement. Xiangan places a high priority on investing in the information technology sector, biotechnology and innovative materials. It is anticipated that high-tech enterprises will contribute approximately 75% of the city's total economic output in the future. More than 1.4 billion people live in China's 9.6 million square miles, making it one of the world's densely populated countries. With a total of 21 million residents and a GDP of 560 billion yuan, Beijing is China's most populous city. Furthermore, it's China's largest city. The population of Beijing exploded as the town expanded, making it harder to get around due to the increased congestion. At the very least, three hours of daily traffic congestion can be anticipated. Every year, gridlock in the transportation sector costs the economy $11.3 billion in lost income. A further issue that continues to plague the nation's capital is a chronic lack of available housing. In 2021, the average price of a square meter for an apartment in Beijing city centre was $17,000, making the city's real estate market the ninth most expensive in the world. In light of the fact that China's population is constantly growing, what strategies does the country have in place to ensure that requirements of its citizens are met? To handle the country's growing population, China has begun building new metropolitan centers across the country. Today, we'll take a look at China's most unique billion-dollar smart city as it takes shape. Chinese President Xi Jinping proposed a new town called Zhongan in February 2015. It is a smart city in Hebei province. To decongest and depopulate Beijing, Xi Jinping wants to build Zhongan, a city larger than New York City which will serve as an innovation hub for the surrounding area. A new district and economic zone have been established in Zhongan, making it China's 19th national level new district. The project began in 2016 and the Chinese government announced the new territory in April of 2017. 100 kilometers south of Beijing, Zhongan will be located next to the largest freshwater lake in northern China, Lake Biangdian. In the first phase of Zhongan, Beijing's non-essential capital activities, such as the financial industry and educational institutions, would mainly relocate. Phase 2 will expand the first area to include more stores, office buildings, parks, and an inner city transit hub servicing as a bus and train station for the city's many districts. The city's principal commercial center will be the second phase of Xiongan's downtown. Around this crucial startup location, five city cluster zones will provide additional housing and retail space. Both a sports stadium and a sizable central park will be built in the area located in the eastern portion according to the plans. A new area will soon be established in Zhongan and it will be encircled by tens of thousands of square kilometers of lakes, woods and agricultural land. Xiongan is going to be transformed into a high-tech and intelligent metropolis according to the blueprints drawn out by the Chinese government. Because we want to make sure that the logistics and traffic are being managed effectively. It will come with equipped sensors that make use of artificial intelligence technology. When that time comes, everyone will have free access to 5G internet service and all of their data will be stored in a digital cloud that is accessible online. People will get around in the future using taxis that can drive themselves and blockchain technology will be used to manage all of their financial transactions. According to statements made by government officials, the rise of Xiongan's economy will be driven by 80% of industries operating at the forefront of technological advancement. Xiongan places a high priority on investing in the information technology sector, biotechnology and innovative materials. It is anticipated that high-tech enterprises will contribute approximately 75% of the city's total economic output in the future. In the meantime, construction will begin in Jiangan as a sustainable city. The metropolis will feature more streams, parks and other green spaces thanks to the integration of vertical farming. 
Recycled wood and other materials will be used in the construction of buildings and electrical energy will be the sole source of propulsion for public transportation. The majority of the nation's energy requirements will also be met by projects that generate power from the sun, the wind, and geothermal energy. The production of high carbon dioxide quantities at companies will be outright banned or heavily restricted. Because of population violations, more than 5,200 businesses have been forced to close their doors in Jiangan so far. Jiangan is an essential component in the larger plan to integrate the capital city of Beijing with those of Tianjin and Hebei. Jiangan will be linked to the cities that are located in close proximity to it by means of public transportation, pedestrian streets, and a layout that puts the needs of the local population first. Access to high-speed rail between Beijing and Jingzhou will be provided via a newly constructed portion of the Rongcheng Wuhai Expressway. A trip on the high-speed rail from Jiangan to the future site of Beijing's new airport will take only 20 minutes. Direct flights take only 30 minutes, depart from both Beijing and Tianjin, and arrive in Shijiazhuang, the capital of Hebei. Over a million people currently live in the Greater Hebei region, which comprises 60 different towns. It is known that this number will reach 2.5 million by the year 2035. The newly developed territory of Jiangang will be very advantageous to the economy of China. In order to get things rolling, the capital services of Beijing that aren't absolutely required to run the city will be relocated to a neighborhood within the city. In addition, it is envisioned that it will function as a template for future smart cities and encourage innovative thinking. In the future, it is anticipated that Jiangan will contribute $298 billion to the GDP of the region. The completion of the project will be beneficial to China's construction sector because it will affect the making of tens of thousands of new employees. It is anticipated that Jiangan will result in an improvement in the citizens of China's level of living. Given the fact that it was designed with both the community and the environment in mind, it not only has a beneficial impact on the environment but also benefits the community. During this time, the city is being constructed on low-lying marshland that is located next to a lake that frequently floods. In 1963, a devastating flood ravaged the area, destroying everything in its path and taking the lives of 340,000 people despite the city's reputation as a green metropolis. The plan would still include the construction of power plants as well as a natural gas pipeline with an estimated cost of $1.3 billion. When it comes to persuading a million people to relocate, it's not apparent how Beijing will do it. Jiangan has been dubbed China's ghost city because of its lack of progress. Despite this, the project is moving forward quickly. In addition to the Citizen Service Center, which broke ground in December 2017, work on three public schools, a hospital, and a commercial service center in the Rongdong neighborhood has also begun. It's a 13 square kilometer suburb that'll be home to 170,000 people when it's finished. As of 2021, 85 of Rongdong's over 1,000 residential units had roofs. Near Rongdong, a massive infrastructure project involving the provision of gas, power, and water has been constructed. Approximately 20 kilometers to the east of the central business district of Zhanggang is where you'll find the high-speed rail station that set you back $8.9 billion to build. In addition to all of this, construction began on a highway connecting Jiangan and Beijing. May of 2021 was the month which it was made accessible to the general public. The trip from Beijing to Jiangan barely takes one hour to complete. As part of a massive forest reclamation project scheduled to have been finished in 2021, almost 27,000 hectares of land have new trees planted on it at the end of 2020. Several sewage treatment plants and fishing piers have been built by local governments in the last couple of years. There will be around 160,000 workers working on 120 large projects combined as estimated for 2021. Since Jiangan was first established, more than 3,700 different companies have registered their presence there. China anticipates that Jiangan will mimic Xinjiang's intelligent city model over the next two decades and estimates that the full development of Jiangan will cost $580 billion by 2020. We are going to have to wait and watch if Jiangan is able to realize its vision of being a city that is both inventive and environmentally conscious. So, what do you think of this project? Is this sustainable over the long run? As a matter of fact, Jiangan is expected to have a livable metropolis by the year 2035.